What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. These are the Magic Yo-Yo Dawn D3, part of the new D series. So, uh, new Magic Yo-Yo D series is their 2A series. Um, what I have is the two pack. Uh, these do not light up, but there's a light up version as well. Uh, links for all these are gonna be down in the description of this video, but um, these are the non-light up ones and they come in a two pack. They come in this box. Uh, so first I wanted to sort of show you what's in the box and then we'll talk about the yo-yos. So uh, in the Magic Yo-Yo D-Series box, see it says D-Series, um, you know, you get a plethora of strings, which is what Magic Yo-Yo does. Plethora of strings here. You get uh, a little book, we'll look at that in a sec. Uh, and then open your gift yo-yo accessories box. It also comes with a accessories box. This whole package is like 16 bucks. Uh, so you get a looping set, a gift accessories box, a bunch of strings for 16 bucks. Let's see what's in here. These are gloves. So you get gloves. You get... Woo! pouch to put your and a pouch to put your yo-yos in so here's a pouch that's actually really cool two pouches so two pouches two gloves two yo-yos and like a dozen strings so uh for somebody who's just trying to get into yo-yo and wanting to do something on amazon particularly if you played yo-yo as a kid and did a lot of looping uh and you're trying to get back into and you're like you know what i really just want to go and play catch with myself a little bit uh this is a great set so how does it play as far as modern 2A stuff is concerned, I would say it's a touch on the heavy side, but not like crazy heavy. Um, it's sort of a, a, to me it feels like a modified Raider, and uh, when I show you the insides, you'll you'll understand why, but it feels like a modified Raider, uh, like a Omega Raider from back in the day, but it's modified because the gap's a little tighter. The Raider was almost unresponsive out of the box. You had to like kind of modify it to get it to play responsive enough to actually loop. This kind of feels like that. It's sort of in that weight class as well. Uh, it's definitely that shape, the that like you make a fireball, you make a raider shape, that modified imperial shape. Um, and I love that it comes in a two pack. There's also a light up version uh, that's also basically like the it's called the the D the D five Starlight. Um, I have it, but I lost the bearing, and I I'm I'm a chooch. But I'll have the links for all these down in the description. It played the same. It just, it, it was light up. It was a little heavier, but it, it comes in one. Uh, so the one, that one I think is $14 or $12.99 or something. But this set of two, I really think is is the key. Because it comes in other color sets too. I just went with pink and black and this like this color set. But it comes in other color sets too. Check it all out on Amazon. It's, it's set up for prime shipping. But for a $16 looper set, this is really, really nice. It comes out to about eight bucks a yo-yo. Uh, free shipping from Amazon, and that's that's really like, I mean, I would say I like these are these feel more sturdy and are better constructed than like the seven or eight dollar uh, Yo-Yo Factory Looper, or even the even the those ones. Uh, I would say these are probably just about on par, maybe not quite with the seven twenties, um, but they're much much cheaper. Uh, so, you know, as far as a Looper set is concerned, for the price. Uh, I mean, you know, this, that's the, the caveat for everything Magic Yo-Yo, right? It's for the price. I mean, it's really hard to beat this. They're really both set up really nice. I am not a 2A player by any stretch of anybody's imagination, but I could throw a few loops. Um, so why don't we go ahead, I'll throw a few loops, I'll show you guys how responsive it is, how well it works, and we'll go from there. All right, Magic Yo-Yo D3. D3. All right, so uh, without any setup, it is nice and responsive. Nice and reliably responsive. And uh, loops pretty well. If you want to do, you know, some uh, stall tricks and stuff, it'll handle those too. Just because it is that nice modified imperial shape. Uh, spin time's pretty decent as well. But it is very snappy responsive for, you know, throwing loops. Alright. Want to see me do some terrible 2A? I really don't do this ever, so this is going to go horribly. But luckily for me, it's a beginner set. So you're getting what? If you were a beginner or not a two not a two A player, <laughs> you're getting what 
what a 2A beginner would get. Uh, to me, they feel to be the same weight about thereabouts. And they're pretty much equally as responsive. And uh, really just, I mean, they really respond really well. Nice and smooth. Like, I know that's a weird, like, but if they're nice and smooth feeling, like they don't feel rattly or anything. Nice and solid. I mean, for a beginner set, and again, I'm not much more than a beginner, but I couldn't, I really asked for a better constructed, better playing set here, just for the six, under, sub 20, sub 20 bucks. Um, you know, like I said, it's nice and smooth feeling. Uh, the response is very responsive, <laughs> like it's reliable. It responds when you want it to respond. It sleeps when I want it to sleep. Sleep's actually a pretty good long time. And, uh... Handles everything I want it to do. Now, you know, could you move on from this? Is this something that, you know, maybe you start this way and once you've got it down, maybe you want a different yayo? Yeah, maybe. I can see that. But, uh... If you've never thrown 2A before, and you got 20 bucks, you know, and you want it to tickle your fancy... Pick these up and then go buy yourself a Diet Coke or something. And, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Let's see what the construction looks like. And then, uh, we'll do pros and cons. Alright, let's take them apart. Nice and smoothly put together. So, comes apart. And, yeah, it's very much constructed like an old school Raider would be. Uh, you can see there is the, uh, sort of friction the teeth that's that's very much how a omega raider would uh, would be constructed with the teeth there those old school teeth for uh for response it's got uh, here's the uh here's the the where the bearing goes on one side there's the, there's the tiny bearing in there tiny little bearing for the looper the little looping bearing this goes into here so this is the bearing seat so, aluminum bearing seats, very nice. Nice aluminum, uh, you know, like aluminum screw in there. Looks nice. Very solid. This is this is why it feels so solid. It's really just working with a, with a solid base here. Came apart real nice. It was back together. Super nice. And uh, really all lines up very nice. You can see it's this way, but then it's upside down exactly the other way. So that's good. Uh... Really, like, just nice set. Really well put together. And for the price, man, 16 bucks. It's uh, really hard to beat that for, for the price. It really is. For a, for a set of two, um, you know, you're usually looking at 30 40 something like that for a decent set of loopers. Uh, you can get some very beginner ones. Um, but that Intro Yo-Yo Factory one, I feel like I've broken three or four of those inadvertently. And these feel a lot more solid. Uh, plus, you can get them on Amazon. So... Uh, shout out to Magic Yo-Yo. I bought these, actually, but they, they did reimburse me for them, so, uh, full disclosure there. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, do I think it's gonna hold up to your, you know, your, your, your high-end $40 each, uh, looping Yo-Yo? No, not at all. Uh, you know, is, is it gonna compete with a $100 set of loopers? No, no, it's not. Um, like I said, to me, they're probably a touch on the heavy side for that, but for a beginner set, for like 16 bucks, free shipped on Amazon, I don't know that you can beat that for the, for the money. Um, Magic Yo-Yo does good stuff. Uh, they are not a junk Yo-Yo company by any stretch of anybody's imagination. Uh, and you can get their stuff on Amazon. So, you know, a lot of bad Yo-Yos you can buy on Amazon, but Magic Yo-Yo ones aren't bad. And they're good. And they're on Amazon. So, uh, you know, if you want a set, something for your grandma or your aunt or something to buy you, and they've only, just, you know, they're just going to order their crap on Amazon. Not a bad idea. But, uh... You know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm not, I'm no 2A player. Feel free to make fun of me. I am not, I, I don't hold myself out to be. I don't claim to be. But truth be told, uh, you know, with a with a set as affordable as this, I might play a little bit more 2A rather than invest in something that I 
you know, would maybe fail miserably at and not pick up ever again. So it's nice to have an option like this, and it's a solid option. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to break these unless I lose the bearing, which is what I did with the, the light-up one. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I, I totally lost the bearing. Just lost it. <laughs> it's gone. No idea where it went, but it's the same thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Magic Yo-Yo D3. Dawn. Very cool. Link's down in the description. Uh, pick them up. Very, very affordable. Very neat. Uh, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.